Hey, thanks for checking out this video today, guys. Today, I want to go over seven more 3D printed products that I found that I found interesting. I thought I would share with you guys. Well, let's go over them together and uh, you guys let me know what you think down below. I will be giving all these products away. Anything I printed today, I will be, you know, just picking random people. Subscribe, leave a like, and um, comment down below, and I'll just pick seven random people from the comments and send you out one of these uh, one of these parts so let's get right into it we're gonna start with some of the the less cooler stuff and we'll work our way up before anyone asks this is my uh, poop emoji uh, this is printed uh, 3d printed uh, that's why I always have it sitting on my uh, desk but it's a uh, it's printed out of a flexible plastic uh, that it's pretty cool I just have it always sitting here it's not part of the show or anything like that yeah so anyway the first uh, thing here as you can see it is a sunshade so when you're playing if you're outside it's very sunny this is something that you can just pop onto the top of your your switch and it'll actually shade your screen from getting a whole lot of sun glare cool thing about this one is that it's actually uh, portable so you can actually take it off like this and it actually folds up so it's got hinges built into it and it folds up so it's not completely flat but it's darn close it's maybe like a quarter of an inch thick when it's completely compressed but you could easily throw this into a one of your switch cases or whatever and carry this around for you if you're going to be out in the go with it so, so. number two on my list is uh the joy con uh d-pads and as you can see here this is a one that's themed after the Xbox Elite controller. And basically, I have printed out a couple more here. What I did was just put two-sided tape on the back side of this and just stick it right to the buttons there. And you can see that it just, it works up, down, left, right, you know. And if I need to pull it off, it pulls off really easy. You can see my double-sided tape there. Um, I didn't want to do a super permanent, you know, solution, just temporary, just to see if I like it and um, if it would be cool. It does feel pretty good. It feels natural. It feels like the uh, Xbox One Elite controller. And there's there's like six different ones that I found. Uh, these are probably the three coolest ones I've seen so far. There is, I don't know if you can see that there. And then there's a D-pad that has arrows in it. And then here's the Xbox One. And you can see it has the angles just like the Xbox One. So that's number two on the list. So moving right along, we're at number three. What this is is a stand that goes on your Pro Controller as you can see here. And you can actually take your Switch and mount it right to the Pro Controller and um, you can play Nintendo Switch while it's actually mounted to your physical Pro Controller. Uh, at first I didn't like it because it was a little wobbly. But what I did was I took a uh, Velcro strap. And I'll include this uh, when I ship this out to whoever wins it. But it's just a little Velcro strap that you know attaches to the bottom here. And I wrapped it up around just to make it a little bit tighter so that when you're playing it's not wobbling around too much it's a little janky um i thought it was interesting i'm sure i'm gonna get some hate about it in the comments this will be pretty convenient if you're walking around your house or if you're sitting on the couch and you want to play and you don't need that you don't want to have the you know this set up on pillows on your lap or something like that you literally can just sit here and you know play like this it's it's quite comfortable it's a little bit heavy because you have the the switch you know console there but it's quite comfortable as you know, everyone knows the pro controller is fantastic next four are super cool uh, these are my favorite ones out of the whole everything that's on the list today so the first one is is a wand now this thing You're is going to be more for like um one two switch there's a game where you're playing with wands or whatever so basically all you do is you can see there's a thing cutting this channel in the back here and you just slide your your Joy-Con on just like that, and uh, you're a wizard. It's, it's pretty easy. Now I printed this out of a cork uh, type of filament, so it has a real nice, soft, uh, flexible feel to it. Um, I like it. I, I think this this printed out fantastic. Super pleased with it. 
You can see it bows just a little bit, I you know, on the wand part. One of my favorites on the list. So this is called the Switch Boomerang. And what this does is, it holds your Joy-Cons, and you can see it just, Joy-Con slides on there. And the second one goes on. And that's it. That's You got your Joy-Con controller right there. And it's ultra comfortable. Like, I really like the placement of this. It's very natural. Uh, it, it feels great in my hands. I really like this setup. So, I played Zelda for about an hour and a half. And, uh, yeah, I, what can I say? I love it. Like, this thing is awesome. And I also did a vid video, uh, just incidentally. If you guys like any of the things that you saw in the video today, I'll put a link to a previous video I did that shows you how you can actually go onto a website, upload the file that you want to have printed, and then have somebody professionally print this stuff for you, and then ship it to you and mail it. And it's you know, pretty inexpensive. Something like this might cost you maybe five or ten dollars, something like that. So uh, it's not too expensive. The filament that I used on this is really cool. It has like a a satin sheen to it. I don't remember what the name of it is, but just the way that it printed out there, it's. Um, and I don't know if it'll even show up on camera, but I really like this filament a lot. I think it printed out fantastic, and uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite pieces so far. Uh, next on the list is the Nintendo uh, Tube. Now the cool thing with this is, so you can actually use this as a controller if you want to. You basically just slide your Joy-Cons on there, just like that, and there you go. You can literally just play your game just like you normally would. It feels okay. I like it spaced at an angle a little bit better. We have a little Mario on the top there, and you can see that it has the Switch logo in the side there. You pull the top of this off, and as you can see here, you pull that off, and you actually have storage inside there. Now, for me, I actually stored the two Nintendo Switch uh, straps that you can just put those right down inside there, and you can store those there. You could put, you know, Switch games in here. You could put memory cards in here. You know, your cleaning cloth for your screen, whatever you want. But yeah, that's it. I thought it was pretty neat. Um, I wanted to show you guys. I even saw in the picture someone actually went through the time to paint the whole figurine on top of here to make it look like Mario. So it had the like, you know, tan skin and the colored trousers and the hat and all that stuff. So you could go that far with it. I personally am no painter. I wanted to print it, print it out, show you guys, you know, that something like this is possible. That's the Mario tube. Okay, so we have one left. This is probably the coolest one out of the whole bunch. It's also probably the most useless one out of the whole bunch. But I saw it. I know a lot of people love the uh, switch blades I did the last time. Although, they're again, not much of a purpose. It's more of a novelty. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand that. Again, this isn't a weapon. It should not be used as a weapon. Um... I just saw it. I thought it was cool. I wanted to throw it in this video and just show you some of the stuff that people think up. Now, all of these things, they are not for me. I didn't design or make any of these things. I literally went onto the website, found other people's ideas. You're allowed to print them out. And I thought I would showcase their ideas in a video to show you what can be done with 3D printers for the Nintendo Switch. With that being said, we have the the Joy-Con sword. Now you can see on one side there it has Nintendo Switch. The handle is set up to actually accept a uh, a Joy-Con. Now I had a lot of problems printing this thing. I don't know if the file was just off or the person that designed this thing. I don't know. I don't know what happened but I could not get this handle to slide in and out easily from the base of this. So this actually came in four different pieces. The tip here, which is about that long. And then we have this, the center part of the blade, which is about five inches long. And then we had the bottom part here that is just the, I guess this is the hilt of the sword, to about halfway up on the blade as a separate part. And then you had the handle. Now the way this is supposed to work is, there's dowel pins in here and you can see, you can see that there's dowel pins there and there's holes in that and you're supposed to probably just put the pins in or glue it together or whatever you're gonna do and then this is this handle is actually supposed to slide out of there 
and then you can slide your Joy-Con onto the, the shaft that's here. Well, that didn't seem to work. Um, the, the grooves seemed to be a little thick, so I didn't want to slide on too good. Uh, so I had to modify it to make this work, and it works good enough. So I thought I'd just show you. I already spent four hours printing this dang thing out. So I wanted to show you it in action anyway. What I did was I actually cut the groove off inside there and it actually sits tight in the bottom of the, the handle here. You kind of just force it into place there and it sits tight in there. And then when you're holding the Joy-Con, it's going to stay in place. It's not going to go anywhere. But uh, this could be useful for... Skyrim I'm told a lot of this stuff is gonna work with Skyrim so when you're swinging your sword in Skyrim it's actually slashing your character slashing the sword now again I think you would be a lot better off just swinging the Joy-Con with nothing on it but it, it could make for some interesting let's plays or something like that on YouTube nonetheless I wanted to show you guys again this is not a weapon disclaimer should not be trying to hit anyone with this it honestly if you did it's probably gonna break apart into pieces anyway but uh the tip is sharp so you want to be careful you definitely do not want to be swinging around uh anybody else or trying to hit anybody else with the thing so yeah i thought it was a pretty neat idea it's the first one i've seen that is actually a sword like that but i, I thought it was pretty cool and i thought i'd share it with you guys again let me know what you think down below i'm definitely anxious to hear what your thoughts are I thought this list was pretty cool. Yeah, there you guys go. If you found any of that useful or just entertaining, if you could, leave a like. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more. I'll be putting together another video with the top four or five unique uh, 3D printed things that I could find for you guys on the internet. So, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.